On the way to Monster School. Henry couldn't wait for his first day of Monster School. Dado handed out the rucksacks and the lunch boxes. Then all the Huggle monsters headed out to the door and onto the Huggle bike. They were moving right along until the Huggle bike rolled over a pile of jacks in the road. Look, we've got some flat tyres, Dado said. That's a rotastrophe, Summer cried. Henry knew that they just needed a new idea. He took Cobby's mega magnet invention out and pointed it, it back at the house. The magnet pulled two roaring racers right to them. Buckle up everyone, Mama called. The racers were roaring towards school when they came to a roadblock. Sorry, main road's closed for repairs, Officer Higgins said. But how are we supposed to get to Monster School, Summer asked. Officer Higgins pulled up a map and showed them another way to Monster School. An extremely long way. Henry had a faster idea. He called up Captain Hollander and asked him for a ride on his airship. The Huggle monsters climbed aboard and Captain lift off. Henry could see Monster School when a blast of wind blew the airship off course. The wind is too strong, Captain Hollander said. I'm going to have to bring us down. It looked like Henry was going to be late for his very first day of Monster School. He couldn't think of any other ideas to try. Now we can't give up now, kiddo, Dado said. I know, you're right, Henry agreed. Huggle monsters always find a way, especially when things aren't easy. We need a new idea. The Huggle monsters all tried to think of a new idea. Dado was in the middle of thinking when he fell into one of Denzel's tunnels. Hold your horns, Henry shouted. That's how Denzel gets to monster school. If we can't go through Rawsville, we'll go under it. Everyone jumped back into the roaring races, and Henry led the way through the tunnels. Henry saw the light at the other end and steered his racer out of the tunnel and into the front doors of Monster School, just in time for the first bell.